Come on, Brad. I'm not in a headbang for the Beastie Boys. Whatever, Brad. Hi, I'm T. And I'm Brad. And this is two RC guys. Kinda. Kinda. Yeah. Kinda. Today's Valentine's Day. It is. <laughs> Yay. You wanna make up? No. Uh, poop. Today, it's Losey Day. Why you like Losey, Brad? I just like Losey. I've ran Losey since they first came out. I mean, back then we didn't have a whole lot of uh, different options to run. I mean, there was Kyosha Ultima, the Associated RC 10s. Uh, we had the Losey. You said Losey. Did I? Losey Day. It is. <laughs> I, uh, I've always had good luck with Losey's. I mean... Bang! <laughs> So, I run Losey's. We're going to go through some of my Losey's today, some of the ones I've run, uh, some of the ones I've acquired. I have quite a few. So, we can start, T, you want, T. with, with uh, Look, your ring. It's a Losey. One of the very first ones. Vintage. Unused. Classic. Unmolested. No scratches. No dust. Look at it. It is spectacular. You. Yes, you! Cannot touch it. Brad, break this down for me. Well, back in the day. In the back game, in the day. Yes. They didn't have bang. You had uh, what they call these tub chassis. Plastic, uh, a harder plastic, uh, the spring plastic shocks. I mean, if you look at these uh, A-arms, they're... Smaller, they're more brittle, just more plasticky. Everything, yeah, they do look but it was an upgrade small. from what we had. I mean, you were going from like a Radio Shack Red or Golden Arrow to that uh, monkey is a Red Garrow Shack. Yes, it's a uh, waffle house. It's uh, a, a car from Radio Shack we used to run. You know, if you got lucky, you got them for Christmas or whatever. But no, this is one of the first ones. That, you know, so much smaller they are. I mean, it's still a tenth scale, but it's not as long. Uh, Crisp apple. It's like your third one, man. Bang! I like me a good bang. <laughs> but this slide, like the slipper clutch, uh, I mean, pretty much the same concept. They have, uh, but everything was so thin and brittle and plasticky. And then I don't have uh, anything older as far. I mean, I have a 4.0 here. This is the new 4.0. Actually, the 5.0 Elite I have. It's in a box behind me. Where is that? Way back. There. Way back? So this is the 4 and and uh, I haven't had a chance to run this on the track. Uh, indoor, I did that carpet. It, it goes. Um, Where does it go? Fast. I run the track. You go fast. But difference is, I mean, you go going. I mean, just better composite plastics. They look like uh, the same chassis, Brad. Oil-filled shot. No, they, they don't. All right. No, not really. No. Uh, this one here has got uh, uh, a few uh, pop-ups, but it's... Takes the shorty pack. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get into this too much. This is a 4 0. And then we'll go to the next is a 22 4.0 four wheel drive. Four wheel drive. This one has uh, no electronics in it at the sec, you know, at, at the moment, but um, this is a belt drive. Belt drive. Yes. And they're not the ones that made a belt drive. Yes, they do. Um, their newest one, which is coming out soon, yeah, is, is a shaft driven. But um, no, I'm excited to get the uh, electronics in this and take this for a scoot. Uh, I haven't yet. There's really no classes for the four wheel drives up where we live right now. Hoping that'll change. We can make one. We can. Um, like I said, uh, we're just going to go through these quick. You're quick. Yeah. And then we'll go... Bang! <laughs> uh, next, we're going to do... Uh, we'll do my four drive next. Uh, my four. I like the four drive. It's my favorite class. That's what he likes. Love it. Point and shoot. That's it. That's pretty much what these are. Uh, this one here is a 2.0. Um, it's got a uh, little bit of different things on here. I'm running a Sapphic Servo. I'm running a 4000 Orion uh, motor, KD motor. For four drive, um, go fast. It's fast. I mean, there's there's faster. I mean, if you want to get faster, you know, you go to the Teak and forty six. Uh, uh, 
Uh, they make a 51 and a 5800 now, I see. Uh, I don't know if you need that much. Um, what else is there? Uh, More horsepower. You can move uh, <laughs> the, the, with these here, you can take, you can put the ESC here, or you can move the battery bar up and you can put the ESC in the back. Technically, um, you put the ESC wherever you want it. You could. I mean, uh, you could put it on top of the servo. Yeah, Cy, Cy a local racer, he leaves it right on his battery bar. Well, that sounds... He does. He's got it on there. And it, it well, stays I suppose on you won't lose your battery bar. No. <laughs> uh, uh, this one here has the MIP upgrades for the pucks. Yep. And, yep MIP. It's, a, the it's an aftermarket part. Uh, this one is for the drive shafts. Parts for this, the, the 3.0 is a, a little bit different uh, as far as moving the motor. Um, this one you can't. Um, what else can we say about these? Uh, I love these. I mean, they're my favorite. Uh, 2.0 is uh, probably what I would say. Or 3.0. I mean, I don't know. I ran, I tried Techno last year, and I just absolutely didn't like it. I sucked at it. I mean, maybe with a little more time. Dang! But this is the four-wheel drive um, kit. Every one of these is a kick. Um, they do make uh, ready to runs for the four drive. What do you call it? Tenacity. They make that, which is ready to run from Horizon Hobbies. A uh, couple hundred bucks. I was actually looking at them. Yeah, I mean, they're. Uh, it's got a plastic. Uh, does it have a plastic chassis? Yeah, it's it? pretty much all plastic. It's yep. cheap. It comes two, with a two hundred bucks fusy like or a dynamite system. Fifteen turn, seventeen turn, or something like that. I think. Uh, they also make a ready to run that's comparable to the Slash uh, 22 something. I don't know, I'm not into the ready to run kits. Uh, unless it is a Slash, I do like racing the Slash class uh, with the locals here. Praxis! Yep. Uh, if you're in the area, you ever want to get uh, into this, you can order a kit offline, or I would say go down and talk to Dave at Gromax. Dave's not here, man. He's not. But I'm still going to plug him. He's a local Traxxas dealer, but you can get anything you want. Plug Dave. All right, bang! Now we will go ask a couple of bangs for racing. Smash your Toronto. <laughs> One. I don't have a tool, but then we'll go. Two. Up. Yes, I do have a two, and we have a three. Three. But Brad doesn't have a lot of vehicles. I don't. All right, this I run in my brush class. Uh, here at Granite Bluff, down at, uh, what is that, uh, um... Over there, around the Big corner. Rock. The Rock. Even at Gromax, we run a brush class, which, uh, you can run any truck, but it has to have, um, the 12-turn motor, and we run just the Millennium XL5s in them. Uh, it's a fun class. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one here, the one has the rear motor. Uh, that's the way they came. Uh, you built it, and that, that's what you got. I mean, for the time, it, it's it's a great truck. It's still a good truck for uh, beginners. I mean, I can run this pretty good. I can't beat a slash with it yet outdoors uh, because of the gearing system, but we took care of that, and we had uh, a local guy hone it out for me, the motor plate, so I could put bigger pinions on it. So we'll see this year. Now This year. Yep. This one here is for <laughs> my carpet. Look at it. <laughs> this one here is a 2.0. Notice how it still has pretty much the features of the 1.0, only it's, what is that team? Drugs. No, no, no not, not drugs. Bang! Are they sponsoring us or something? No, I just like bang. Don't you like a good bang? I do, but. All right. <laughs> so this one here, uh, you can tell the difference. Uh, once again, the arms are different. Um... It's still the same chassis, uh, just a mid-motor, just switches the motor more up towards the front um, with a lay-down transmission versus the stand-up. Uh, you know, I don't like running a lay-down transmission on uh, loose dirt because it does not hook up. Uh, and then from here, we're going to go to the 3.0. Three! Three! This would be the one I run outdoors. It's got indoor uh, carpet tires on it for testing on it to grow max track on there to run it. Uh, this one here has a uh, Orion system. Uh, I think this is a 6.5 motor, which is actually too much for outdoors. I mean, I can bring it down to probably an 8.5. Uh, let's see. Arm's a little bit different. Um, I got a little bit of, uh, I don't know, the battery hold downs a little different. 
I don't think there's a whole huge difference in a lot of it as far as running a two from a three. I mean, if you run outdoors, it's pretty much wide open. So uh, I love low seed products. I, I, I like uh, everything about it, but a lot of people are going to the, the new uh, Associated's. So it's whatever you choose, whatever you want to run. It's about you. Yeah. You. And We're just a couple of dudes. You are. RC guys. Let's grab. Let's oh, grab I, something. Look at the stadiums. Look at this. <coughs> there should be another one over by you. What kind of stadium? With the wing. What does it look like? Uh, it's got no tires on it. It's not this. That's it. Hey, welcome so, back. This one, these are stadium trucks. Uh, another big class up by us, the stadiums. Uh, Frank Felsner is probably Frank. the king of stadiums around here, uh, along with Cole, um, Keevy, Matt Keevy, and his son. Uh, I've only ran these a, a, probably about a year or two on and off, uh, get into it, and then run so many classes, it just gets hard to drive every single yeah. class. You've got to race every flipping truck. I do. We're always waiting on Brad. It takes a while. Uh, because he races every class. <laughs> but this one here, this one was my uh, 2-0. I raced this last year. I did okay with it. I mean, I don't I think I took like fourth or fifth in the point series. Uh, it's got uh, Tekken system in it. Uh, nine turn. Uh, and that has the, the stand-up transmission where this will be the truck I run this year. I'll give it a whirl as a 4-0. Uh, you can see there's a lay down transmission you can see that a uh, little bit different than running that um i plan on putting a stand up in here i'll try it first and see how i do with it um i guess stuff to put the electronics in it difference is uh the battery bar once again um the placement of the motor and the you know uh, the shock towers are different on here for the rear uh, like i said i haven't had this one out yet so I'm looking forward to racing this year. Got to get some stuff done. We still got a few months. We're still doing a lot of carpet racing <laughs> indoors with uh, the slashes and slash and uh, the carpet cars. So we got a little bit. Um, like I said, I plug low seat. I like low seat. You don't have to like low seat. Brad likes low seat. I do. Uh, there's For Valentine's Day, Brad and low seat. Uh, some of the guys, like I said, they like their tracks. Is uh, Yokomo. Yokomo. Um, Associated is getting really, really popular. I know Frank switched from low C to Associated. And they just came out with 6.2 D. Yeah. D or B. Yeah. Might be the D. I think it's a D. You like the D. Oh! Bang! So, um, that's just a run of my trucks, what I run. Uh, I don't, I mean, I have a lot of low C stuff. Uh, hopefully this year I'll get to okay, run. One. I'll get to run. Uh, some different classes and race. I've never ran the buggy uh, in competition-wise with Frank and guys, Cole and Frank and Jesse uh, Santamore, uh, Chad Aronson. There's a couple guys that run them really good. So I just want to get it out there and try it. I just go out there. I, I like, I'm a competitive person, but I like to have fun too. So lies. Probably, I'm pretty angry a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's around out of my stuff. Uh, stuff? Yep. Uh, Red. If you got any questions, uh, questions. you probably shouldn't ask me. <laughs> What's that box, Brad? My box? The box. For what? The new model. Oh, the new models are in box. I have an Elite in them. And hey, if you guys want to buy it, it's in a box and I have a full drive. What? Red selling them. stuff. Nah, I'm not gonna get into too much of it. I have enough stuff. Stuff. Running classes is really hard. I went from two classes in the carpets to five or six now. Brad. Yes. Um, other than that, um, I'm gonna plug a few tracks run by us. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, Granite Bluff. I'm gonna say Gromax carpet for the winter time. Um, you can Expanding. Go yes. Expanding. They are soon. A bigger track. Hopefully, it's going to be clay. Got any questions? We'll have to get Dave. Dave! We'll have to get him on here one day. And he can Dave! <laughs> I don't think he's coming now. Dave's not here, man. But, uh, like I said, there's Big Rock. There's, uh, if you're in Iron Mountain area this spring, this summer. Who is that? Michigan. Iron Mountain, Kingsford. Oh. 
Yeah. And then we have uh, Bark River has a track, and uh, Frank Felsner runs uh, Back Country up in Gwynn. So if you're up that way, uh, that's a huge track. That's a big, long track, lots of speed. Never been there. Someday. Someday. No, not Sunday. Someday. Uh, if you guys like, subscribe, don't like it. Subscribe it. anyway. Right. Pass it around. Tell your friends. <laughs> I mean, you're going to get a laugh. Maybe they got these guys know what the hell they're talking about. We make this channel just for fun, like I said. Do wheelies. Yes. Uh, Hi. We do opinions. I mean, maybe Bang. we'll do one on how you can get these bodies painted. And I sure did not paint this body. Um, we got a couple different. We could probably do that. Most of my bodies, I uh, get painted. I'm not painting my bodies no more. I don't put expensive paint jobs on bodies anymore. You know why? Clear, clear and stickers. 15 seconds in an indoor track, and they're just demolished. Clear. Did you say clear? Clear. Not, not paint anymore. Clear. Bunch of stickers. Shark fins. You go fast. Bang! <laughs> so, tomorrow's the 15th. You guys got nothing to do. Uh, head I'm on racing. over to Max. Yeah. Head on. Oh, I see uh, Tim Wilcox and guys that race that uh, go fast. local tracks. They're going to come down with their slashers and... We're going to tear some stuff up. Dave will have that uh, new piping in. What is that? What did he call That should us? be coming soon. Yeah. Ordered. Yep. C and so. something. To snap Pro. Lego system. Lego. Clicky. Clicky, clicky. Yeah. And he's got uh timing system. He's got all the, the updated stuff. And like I said, you go there, check it out. If you like it, you can rent a truck. Or try it. your kids can do it. Or you can watch liverc.com. And just search for Gromax. Yeah, and watch T&I race. Cam's on all the time. It is. And you can see how bad I beat T. He's lying. How did you last week? Better than you, Brad. No, Better than you. I got you. first. Brad. I'm pretty sure. I wasn't in that class, Brad. Why? Oh, you are in the B man, weren't you? You're a B. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Two. RC guys. Kinda. Kinda. Next week. For Stuff, sure, maybe. We're going to do giveaways. T-shirts. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. The Brennan boys are done. Good job. I'm not sure if, Fired. Uh, if they'll have them. Mexico. Then. But maybe. Uh, Dave from Grumas gave us some fans for your motor. Dave. Uh, some Texas koozie holders. Uh, there's some stuff that he donated for this uh, for this um, channel. Stuff. So... Subscribe, like, like pass gonna, it around. We'll send it. We're just gonna need your address. We'll More ship people. it free. And your social you know, security. And we're hoping to get a thousand. Is it a thousand likes? And a thousand. I'm thinking about giving away one of my losies. Oh, poop! A losie for you. Yep. So you gotta pass it around and like it and pass it around some more on your facey book. Yes. Your cell phones. Yep. And if you got any ideas for what you'd like us to bullshit about or you know, uh, <laughs> got any ideas? I mean. Say, hey, you suck. You should go back Sugar. and do the job. <laughs> uh, don't ever do this again. Just tell us because uh, we like it. We have fun. Yeah. And it's all about fun, right? Fun. I can't even say that with a straight face. Two RC guys, kind of. Till next time.